Hello and welcome to ViaEngines.com, specialists in the world. Only one, do 12, 7, 6s, the lot. Well, today I'm going to give you a quick rundown on how to set the ignition timing. This is a Via 7, which has 30 degrees advance, whereas a Via 12 with the bin carburetor, spark plug on the front, that would have 22. But you've got this kind of engine, then you want to need it. First thing to do make sure you've got some good points in there you want 17 thou on your points gap when they're just opening so you've already done that you've seen the other videos now what you want to do is make sure the timing is right what I suggest you do is take the spark plug out get a screwdriver so you can feel when it's exactly at top dead center which I'll do now and I'll, I'll rotate this with the spanner till I'm right at the top point and when you're happy, that is exactly top, um, you should find that there is a notch in the flywheel, I've painted this one black, which lines up with the top of the buttress here, which is welded into the crankcase. Now, um, I've also done a little bit easier, I've lined up with the centre and I've marked that T, um, but effectively it's the same place. When the crankshaft is at top dead centre, the, the piston is up, so the notch lines up with the top of the buttress and my mark is top. Now, you need to find out um, where the advance is. On a via 7, that mark goes exactly horizontal with this buttress. So the bottom of this buttress should line up with that when the points are just opening. If you look in there visually, you can see, if I rotate this now, you see that the points are just opening at that point if I rock it backwards and forwards open closed and that's as that mark passes now if you want it a bit more precise um, what you can do is use one of these buzzer meters and if you listen there's a little click noise I've got this between the earth wire and the points wire and there's a little click Can you hear that? So that click is due to the condenser char charging with the meter's current, giving a very precise indication, exact point. You can see it's right on the F, which corresponds to the mark just going in the correct place. So that timing is right. Now, I'll turn this racket off. The other way that you can set these marks if you want. How did I know the distance between these two marks? Well the answer is that you take the circumference of the flywheel which is 600 mil and um, that is uh, 19 mil diameter so we've got 19 centimeters sorry 190 millimeters multiply that by pi you get 600 millimeters roughly so if you said that the um, if you said that the circumference is 600 millimetres, divide that by 360 degrees. 360. No. 600 divided by 360. That's 1.6 millimetres per degree. But multiply that by 30 degrees, and you get 50 mil. So there's 50 millimetres between these two marks if it's 22 degrees and you'll see there we are 50 millimeters so that is basically how you check that the timing is correct for these engines now how precise do you need to be I would say you need to find that this is firing the points are just opening or making that click noise whichever technique you use or, or the mark lining up when the points should be opening within about five millimeters of the exact position you'll find that the engine will run if the timing's here or the timing's there but it'll run quite nicely in the right position or give or take five mil it doesn't have to be super precise but your timing's going to be way off if you don't set the points right in the first place they need to be 17 thou at their maximum opening so get that right first before you play around with the timing and um, you'll, you'll find that uh, ultimately the way you adjust it is you slacken off these three perimeter 
screws or, or bolt heads as I got them and then you can leave around between the bolt and the um, with a screwdriver to rotate the whole ignition round inside you don't have to take this flywheel off to change the ignition timing so that's the way you set it and then of course tighten these things, bolts up before you run and recheck the timing okay so that's timing on a via 7 exactly the same for a via 12 the only difference with the via 12 is it won't be 50 millimeters it would be much less because it's 22 degrees instead of 30 and correspondingly the mark is just the same you'll find that there's a mark on the flywheel at the top dead center will be here and at the firing point will be somewhere around here perhaps a little bit closer but it's 22 degrees on the via 12 and 30 degrees on the via 7. This is uh, Nick the engineer from viaengine.com hope you visit my website